Hey guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about the grip. And uh, the first thing I like to say about gripping a golf club is there, there's so many different ways of doing it. And for me to teach you how to grip the golf club through a video, uh, in my opinion, is absolutely ridiculous. I, I just don't think that you can do that. I can certainly share some of my ideals and opinions about it, but there's examples of guys that grip it all different ways. And uh, But I think you should be aware of what different grips, what it might cause in your golf swing. Uh, we have different matchups in our golf swing. The way our body moves, the planes that we swing on, um, how we release the golf club, and for all those things to work in a golf swing, they have to match up with your grip, okay? So that's why I'm not teaching you just one way to grip the golf club. If we had a one-on-one -on -one lesson, I could certainly uh, steer you in the right direction, but basically I'm just gonna show you some observations that I've, I've witnessed uh, and um, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is like a, a weak grip, okay? When it comes to what I'm trying to do with the hinging of the golf club, if you have a weak grip, meaning your lead hand is on the lead side of the golf club, usually you'll see the thumb running down the shaft. You're not gonna see any knuckles when you look down. Um, that right there, uh, for the majority of players, they're gonna have a weak club face. And a lot of times the face will get open in the swing and it can cause some issues for a lot of amateurs. There's certainly examples of great players that have weaker grips. Look at Bryson DeChambeau. He can hit the ball forever and he has a weak grip. But you have to understand he has jumbo grips. He's a little bit more in the palm of the hand and he does some things different in his swing. He's a, when he hinges the club, it's extremely late in the golf swing. Um, he just basically does it a different way. But the thing you have to realize, just take a club like that and try to hinge the club. I have a limited range of motion when I do that. That golf club feels extremely heavy. I feel strain in that wrist right off the bat when I do that. I feel like I have no leverage. If you're a person that goes thumbs up with a weak grip, that's my range of motion that I have. Some people may have a little more, some may have a little less. So to me, the more I can hinge the club, the more lag I can have, the more leverage I have. So if I start to strengthen my grip and move it a little bit around, where I see maybe a few knuckles right there and get my thumb a little bit on the side of the club, put my hand on there, look at that range of motion I have, the hinging. I've already drastically increased that. If you're somebody that goes thumbs up, look how much further you can go. So if you get even stronger, look at this, you have even more leverage, okay? So that's just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, I'm somewhere from uh, neutral to slightly strong, and uh, I can certainly adapt my grip to my swing. I had a question, does what type of grip do you have to do to swing the club the way you're swinging it? And you can actually have all the all different combinations of grips and be able to swing the club good. You just have to realize it's gonna affect how much you can actually hinge the golf club, which in turn will affect what this club face does. So if it's weak, think of a weak club face. If it's strong, you're probably gonna have a stronger club face. So take that into consideration. It's not for me to tell you which one to have, uh, through a video lesson. You have to discover that for yourself, but don't be afraid to experiment with it and try those different things. Um, one thing I will say, the grip, um, my grip is not in the palm of my hands. I like to have it in the groove of it. I create that in my swing, in my grip. The club will just fit in those grooves. Um, My fingers on the trail side touch that pad, but also have the grip right under that pad right there. This pad on top and this one on the bottom of it. Okay, 
I feel like I have a ton of leverage with that. I'm seeing maybe a couple knuckles right there. I could probably see two and a half, three knuckles right there, which works pretty well most of the time. And uh, the trail hand will go right in that groove. The thumb, that thumb will fit right in that groove. So basically I have like that, just fits right in there perfectly, okay? And um, I, don't, I don't put my thumb on the trail side to the side of the club. It's uh, fairly neutral. And um, so I feel like I have a good range of motion to hinge. I, I have control over that golf club. Uh, I like to see the hands close together. I don't like to see any space in between them when you grip it, meaning if you were to grip it like that, I don't like seeing that. I've, I've seen some golfers do that, and I think it, it can cause issues. Some people will interlock, that's fine. Some people 10 finger grip, uh, some overlap. Um, I have a modified overlap. My pinky goes right over the top of that, that right there just rest right there. These, these fingers butt up against that. That puts my hands closer together working as one unit. I don't like to see any type of grip, meaning looking at the grip right here, I don't wanna see any of that material. I, 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 there's no daylight in that grip, okay? If I have that, I know my hands are close together working together as one unit where they can hinge and that works really well for me. But as I said before, the grip is an individual thing. It would be silly for me to tell you how to do it. You have to figure that out on your own. Um, but for me, this has been extremely consistent and um, it helps me ulnar deviate right there. I feel really comfortable doing that. And I feel like I can move this club very fast that way. I feel like I have a lot of leverage and I can accelerate it. So just keep those things in mind. How you grip it is gonna affect how much hinge you can have in your golf swing. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and we'll catch you next time.